Hey guys, Richard at the range. Uh, I want to talk to you today about running through some drills and to some extent about humility. So, because um, I was humbled today and I want to talk about it. Um, it's fun to come to the range and shoot and to be, to be sure we have a lot of people who come to the range and shoot and that's fine. But some people want to come to the range and practice and the reason we have classes like the basic pistol class is that some people don't know what to do in order to practice. So I'm going to share a few drills with you today that you can practice that will improve you know your accuracy and perhaps your speed if you work on it and then we'll talk about this target that Jared and I shot today and why it's such a great target. So in the basic pistol class we tend to shoot these targets. Can you see that? And there's two drills on this target. This, this top portion of the target you see a very small circle, a slightly larger circle, and then just the square head. And if we're going to shoot for accuracy, one of the drills, we call it the ragged hole drill, we want to attempt to put every shot into one ragged hole. And depending on your skill level, that may be a small circle or a slightly larger circle, or maybe just keep them in the head. Everybody starts at a, at a different place. So if we start out and we're not able to, to keep those shots in that small circle then maybe we can keep them into one of these other two targets and that's the the point of the drill is to get you to focus on fundamentals and slow down use your sights good trigger pull and put every single one of those shots where it needs to be so definitely an accuracy drill the the drill that we start out with though is this x drill and this is a drill that can teach you a lot about your shooting and any problems you may be having what we're going to do is we're going to shoot two shots at each x if i shoot my first shot at this X, in a perfect world, the bullet hole would be right where those two lines cross. Well, I'm going to put my second shot there. But let's say I'm going to shoot this drill and my first shot is here. What I'm then going to do is aim the second shot at the bullet hole I just created. And I'm curious to see when I do that if that second shot also goes low. What does that tell me about my shooting? It tells me I'm anticipating uh, the recoil. And that's something we can learn from shooting that drill. We're still working on accuracy. Or if I shoot and the first shot is down here, and then I aim at that bullet hole and the second shot is down here, that tells me I might be jerking the trigger if I'm a right-handed shooter. So these drills are designed to improve your accuracy and also teach you about what you're doing wrong when you're shooting. Most common error we get, I think, at the range is people are jerking the trigger. Hey, my gun's shooting low and to the left. That's usually the first clue we have that somebody needs some training. So those are good drills to run. And there's a reason we run them in most classes. It's a good warm-up drill because we're focused on accuracy. If you want to make it more difficult, you increase the distance. Um, so that works. We shot this drill today. And you're like, oh, it's a bunch of circles. That's an easy drill to shoot. Or at least that's what I thought. I think that's probably what Jared thought. Right, Jared? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And it's at three yards. You're supposed to just shoot a rhythmic shot pattern. One shot for the small circles, two shots for the big circles, and run through it in about 24 seconds. Well, this, this target humbled us this morning, and so I wanted to talk about it. Because is failure a good thing? I think absolutely failure is a good thing because this target for me this morning highlighted a deficiency I have in my shooting, which means not only did I shoot it once, I shot it twice, and I'm going to shoot it again because it's something I need to work on. So don't let the target discourage you. Learn from the target, shoot that target over and over and over again, and you'll find that you improve. So the whole idea is not to shoot the target that we can shoot perfectly every time. I want to challenge myself and I want to shoot a target that I can't complete to my satisfaction and I'm going to shoot it until I can. That's how we learn. That's how we get better. Don't get discouraged about shots you miss. Learn from them. We're going to go in the range and we're going to demo the, this cardboard target so y'all kind of get an idea of what we're talking about when we're shooting at the range. So let's get in there. All right, guys, we have our trusty Smith & Wesson MMP9, and we're going to shoot through these drills. We're going to shoot five shots, hopefully in the same hole with this gun, and then we're going to take a couple of shots at some of these X's and, and see what happens on the target, and then we'll go down range and check them out. So let's go ahead and do that. Shots on the Smith & Wesson, I don't, I don't often do that, but I'm just playing with my sights. 
and we got a good result, so I'm going to keep doing that. And I put every shot through the same hole if I can do it. Oh, we got a little crazy. Let's see if we can connect the dots. All right, I'm okay with that. That's five shots on that target. I had a flyer. That was my fault, not the gun's fault. So let's shoot a couple of shots at some of these X's and see what happens. All right, now I'm going to aim for that bullet hole harder with these sights because I have to cover the bullet hole. So I'm kind of guesstimating. So I'm going to cover the center of that next X. Now I'm going to cover that bullet hole. I'm going to cover the center of that next X. Good front sight. Focus. There we go. Cover the bullet hole. I'm guesstimating again. But I think you get the idea. This is not fast shooting. This is slow aim shooting, focus on the front sight, and that's the kind of result I want to get every time, but that would require me to do that. Okay, talking, not paying attention, we're going to miss that one, but I think you get the idea. So those are good drills, and that's why we run through them over and over again. So think about that before you come to the range next time. Hope you all have a great week.